scanned in it because it's not in the center. So you have to do some formatting. So you have to make it center. This, uh, the fonts are different. Some are gold, some are non-gold. So we have to correct those things. Then we can say. For example, you have, you have to correct the remote area. And you can go here and you can correct it. Like the, you do generally in wikis. You can just correct it. And uh, when you correct it, you can use all the wiki codes like gold. What are the lawful wiki apps are there? You can use it. Then you can uh, change the status. What is the base status? For example, you have done only few headings. It is not complete. For example, you have not connected everything. Just save the rows to the itself. So you can, somebody will come and do it. For example, you have done everything. Only formatting is remaining. Then you can save in yellow color. Even if this formatting is also done, then also you can save it. So that is the basic uh, thing how it works. Now, uh, there are certain templates which are used in wiki source. I'll come to it uh, just a bit. Now, when you open this edit window, now here what happens is uh, my settings is default, so I am able to see this header and photo. But normally, when a person opens it, this header and photo will not be available. Will not be visible. So, this header and photo contains the data of the page numbers of the book and the author or whatever it is in the header. To see this header, what you have to do is, uh, you have to go to Blue Free Tools and you have to press, press this plus. Go to Blue Free Tools and press plus. So if you press plus, this header uh, and footer options will come. Below the footer options also will come. Where you can add the header and footer. Now, uh, why, we need to, uh, why we need to do this? Actually, I will show you a book is already uh, good for it. I will show you how it happens. And next thing. Uh, are you able to follow? Uh, you to follow? Okay, I will go slow. Okay, first I will finish this. I will explain Do Do much. So, just you will see, you will correct, do some correction. For example, I am seeing this. Uh, this line, this line especially it is in the center, direct the proof reading is not in the center. So what I do is, uh, I go to that place, okay, I set it this, and I go down, there is a, already a command called center. There is a center, so I click here. Now it becomes, uh, this template has added, center template has added. Now I will see how it ends. Uh, now it has done So this is how you uh, add templates. Now once this uh, template is added, you can say because I have not changed other things. Then when OCR is done, uh, there will be spelling mistakes also. So you can uh, check the spelling mistakes. Now this has been done. On the next line, those, uh, the Indian uh, language code, those has to be also. Center. Now this is how we do the proof reading. Now for proof reading, uh, how it templates is used in Wikipedia. They are used, they are really different templates for uh, release use because fonts are different, you need a table of contents, you need header, you need footer. To do all these things, uh, you need separate templates. Now for example, in this, what you have done is for header, header this book it is for us and page 27. And each page changes 28, 29, 30. So these things actually it should be put in header and footer. It should not be in the main content. Now what generally people do is uh, this is the first line, what they do is they enter, they put the enter and say type for us here and they say Because that's the first line, that's what people think. But the problem comes is uh, this, the main idea of the wiki source is the data should be uh, free flowing, text should be free flowing. You should be able to read in mobile, you should be able to read in uh, 
have this template uh, running at us RH, the shortcut is RH. So it is like uh, now it contains three parts. This is the first part, uh, this is the second part, and this is the third part. So if you want in the middle, you put in the second part. So the scarvas is in the middle. So what you do is you put this word in the middle and page number in the last. So now uh, this when we see the review of this, we can see the review, so I will go for the review. Now this for us, what is done as So this is how uh, you do the proofreading. So like it, uh, now there is a help page is there where you can see the different templates which you are using. Now in case of Tamil, I'll just show for a few minutes. In Tamil, uh, there is a place called uh, Nehitu Vandhukka Pagutu. So in the Pagutukka Pono, I mean, uh, one of the Abhishekthu, I mean, uh, uh, template to Vandhukku use for the number of the year. Now, the board of the year, 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 the board of the year. So, actually, in English, we are using in Wikipedia, it's like only three points are there. What is the head? Header one, header two, header three, size will be different. But in Wikisource it's different because Wikisource there will be different kinds of font uh, format is. You need sometimes bigger letters, wider, smaller letters, you need the related letters. So for all these things you can use this uh, templates called uh, XX, X larger, XXX XX larger. If I open and show it, you will be able Like this x x x x larger, the font will be very big. So like this, uh, you can apply different font sizes, different font sizes. So you can edit. So there are uh, plenty of uh, formatting templates are available in the uh, source for doing formatting. So this is a basic thing. And uh, the next thing is, uh, once you have proof reading, what happens next? What to do next? The next is the process is called uh, transclusion. Now, from all this uh, data which has been proofed, it has to be taken to a place where it can be uh, read conveniently without the scanning of this. After everything is done, there is no need of scanning of this, leaving this text to me. Now, we will see how it works. Now, we will go to the main page, we will see in the final book how it is. Now, this is a book which is finalized, it has been proofed. Now, we will open this book. We will see how it is. Now, if we see, it looks elegant, it looks like a book, written book, all the parts are there. So, this is a final book. Now, here, we, if you see, there is a place called source. This source contains the source file for this wiki source. Wiki source book. Now, we click source here. Now this uh, source, this opens the uh, index for what is written on this book. And also by transcribing, here uh, it shows like which page number it has been transcribed. For example, one is that it is coming from the page number one of the scan page. Here the one, go to one. Now this is a scanned image. This has been proofed. This uh, uh, right side is a scanned image. Left side is a proofread uh, item, and this has been transcoded here. And it's a continuous thing. Page one, page two, page three, page four. So it comes like this. Now, if you have any, uh, now how to do this? For example, I read this book. I have finished proofreading this book. I want to transcode it. What you do is simply go to. Uh, you simply go to the source and uh, if you the title of the book you want to transport, for example, what is technology is the title name. So you just copy this, you want to create a book based on this name. So you just create a page like you create in Wikipedia, just an article. Now it's already there, so I just add some name. So next step. Now it will ask me whether you want to create this page. Yes, I want to create this page. Now, how to build the data from the proofread page? Now, there is a template we have. So, the template which is here which is used, I will show here. So, it will be quick. So, now what I do is, I just leave the header. I use this template, tag, pages. We copy this index is equal to, just give the file name. This file 
maybe you can get from the uh, index page. So this index page. So this file in this area file in this you select here and you give it here. And you can use this from function and to function. So from is equal to three, two is equal to three means it means that uh, you want to pick the data from the third page which you have proof read and you want to show it. So here it's the third page, then you apply uh, page break, then you apply four, then from seven to thirty, it's continuous. There is any break, like uh, here also three and four they could have done. Here also seven to thirty, so all the pages will have. So this is how you put the data on the proof read page and display the uh, page.
cannot open and uh, cut it and paste it. So you can do some automation that also, like find and replace method. Now what I do is, uh, I create a simple uh, text file for your file. For example, this book is here. I want to change the header for all the pages. Now this book contains 195 pages. And uh, what happens is, in between books, there will be uh, one formatting for odd, odd pages and another formatting for even pages. For this odd page, what happens is, uh, author is there and page number is there. For even page, for even page it is page number and the book name. So what I do is, I simply create a list in Excel sheet or any spreadsheet. So what I do is, I give this page name. 26, 27, 28, and then I create a list. And what I do is I uh, just type 2, 3, 4 continuous numbers, page numbers. Like 26 comes from 2, page number 2. And I apply a function uh, list even here too. So I can separate the even and odd numbers. Because even numbers contain one format, and odd numbers contain another format. So what I do is I set the uh, two group. And what I do is now you see this uh, pattern. Thank you. 